Let's get started on training for the IECA user interface. To access the user interface, go to www.ieca.com and click on the customer login link at the top right corner of the home page, or go directly to the login page by browsing to home.ieca.com. Type in your username and password, then click the login button. The UI is structured based on user permission levels and consists of three sections, the dashboard, reports, and management. Let's start by looking at the dashboard. The dashboard is used for visualizing your Wavelet kits on the map and displaying charts of your different streams of data from your Wavelet kits. The map view contains three viewing types, terrain, streets, and satellite. You can also toggle display of the data stream icons. You can browse around the map using your mouse to display your different Wavelet kit sites and the corresponding data streams. Data streams appear as grouped clusters with the number representing the number of streams. As you zoom in, the clusters split into their Wavelet sites. Hovering the mouse will display the Wavelet kit site name. Click on the icon and create an expanded view of the data streams from that site. When you click on the icon for one of the data streams, the UI displays the time since the Wavelet device last transmitted data as well as the last sample. As you type, the sidebar will narrow down the list of sites according to their name. You can also use the sidebar to navigate different sites. Click on the site name and the map view will update, or click on the data stream name to open a split screen view of the chart and map views. You can collapse the sidebar and drag the chart to increase the viewing landscape on your screen. The default time resolution for the chart display is one week, and the UI gives you the ability to increase the time resolution all the way up to one year and down to six hours. You can select the viewable range along the time axis by using the left click on the mouse and holding as you drag across. The same feature is available on the y-axis. Use the arrows along the side of the chart to move left and right and the magnifying glass buttons to zoom in and out. As you continue to zoom in, the individual data points begin to appear with their corresponding labels. The download button will open a new tab in your browser with a PNG image file of the current view of the chart. One way you can make use of this tool is to copy and insert an image into a PowerPoint presentation. Let's take a closer look at the left sidebar. When you click on a site name, the map view will automatically display that site location and the icons for the corresponding streams of data appear. Click on the name of the stream of data to load the chart. For data streams with pre-configured thresholds, the UI displays an eyeball icon that you can toggle to overlay the threshold values on the chart. We will talk more about configuring thresholds when we review the management tab of the UI. The dashboard allows you to stack as many as five streams of data on the same chart. You can layer multiple streams of the same type of data, in other words, streams with the same units of measure. This gives you a quick glance at trends between your different data streams and can also be viewed across different Wavelet kit sites. You can also use the dashboard to display two different types of data streams on the same chart. For example, you could display discharge on the primary y-axis and add water level on the secondary y-axis. To schedule a live demo, don't hesitate to contact us at demo at